I'm gonna tell you the four most common mistakes buyers might make when they're purchasing a new home. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Canada and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn ways to be approved for a mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification button so you won't miss anything. Whenever we talk about buying real estate, we're talking about hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars. Because the price is high, the cost associated with the purchase is naturally high as well. However, there are mistakes that you can avoid so that you're minimizing your risk and cost. Here are the four most common mistakes buyers might make when they're purchasing a new home. Number one, not getting pre-approved for your mortgage. This may be the most expensive item you'll buy in your entire lifetime. You need to really sit down with your mortgage professional to see how much money you can borrow and how much your monthly payment is going to be. Also, applying for a mortgage can be a complicated process with many required documents to provide. You may think that getting a mortgage is easy because of your financial situation, but there are lots of things banks will consider that you may not know about. So connect with your mortgage professional to get that all sorted first. Then you'll know exactly how much you can afford. Number two, no home inspection. Unlike the guarantee a buyer receives with most purchases, there's no money back guarantee or return policy if you're not satisfied with your recently purchased home. Once you buy a home, you're on your own to maintain it, repair it, anticipate problems, and pay the bills. This is why it's best to know as much as you can about potential problems before you buy, especially for older properties. One of the best ways to see if a home is in good condition, livable, and safe is to hire a professional home inspector. A properly trained home inspector will review your house as a system, looking at how one component of the house may affect how another component works or how long it will last. Home inspectors will go through the house and perform a complete visual inspection to assess its condition and all of its system. They will determine the components that are not performed properly as well as itemize that are beyond their useful life or are unsafe. They will also identify areas where repairs may be needed or where there may have been problems in the past. Inspections are intended to help home buyers better understand the condition of the house as observed at the time of the inspection. Number three, not budgeting for the increased cost. Home ownership comes with additional costs that you don't have when you're renting. In addition to mortgage payments, you will now have to pay property taxes, perhaps higher utility bills, home insurance, strata fees, and extra costs for maintenance and repairs. Ensure you're also budgeting these on top of your mortgage payments. Number four, not knowing the closing costs. A lot of buyers forget about the closing costs. Unlike buying a TV where closing costs would be things like GST, PST, and perhaps an extended warranty, closing costs for buying a home are much more substantial. When you're looking at listing prices on MLS, be prepared to pay much more than that. The costs aren't to the seller, but to the government, your solicitor, and other real estate professionals. The largest closing cost is the property transfer tax. The amount cannot be borrowed, so you'll need cash available on hand. Other costs include lawyer fees, title fees, and appraisal fees. Don't get caught short, especially with the property transfer tax. If you cannot pay it at the time of completion, you cannot complete the transaction. And there you go. Four most common mistakes buyers might make when they're purchasing a new home. Contact me and we can discuss these common mistakes and work out the numbers together. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more. Make sure you click on the notification button so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Arise Mortgage. We are always achieving your approval.